Hey, what is up, guys? It's Guy, and I'm bringing you another video about moves to win dogfights. And hopefully, you've been keeping up and you've been watching some of my older videos. And today's video is all about how to take advantage of elevation to counter a negative to neutral dogfight. But first, a little review. If you read your opponent's horizontal looping, just counter with a vertical loop. And I covered this in my video about looping. And the horizontal loop is one of the most common maneuvers you'll see. And knowing how to counter it can give you the advantage in a lot of dogfights. And in fact, a lot of pilots that you think are good and are beating you in dogfights are actually using very simple maneuvers that have very easy counters. As you can see in the gameplay, this guy is pretty much just using very repetitive horizontal loops and they're very easily countered. But using a vertical loop to counter a horizontal loop can be kind of risky because you're basically losing sight of your opponent momentarily and if you read incorrectly and your opponent switches then you may lose track of them. And that's exactly what happens in the gameplay here. But if your opponent is flying too close to the ground then it can't be worth it to go into a vertical loop anyway because you're going to build an elevation advantage on your opponent. However, when engaging opponents and you have a little bit of elevation to work with then you need to know how to use that elevation to turn the tables on your opponent. The first move I'm going to show you is the low yo-yo. And this is a great maneuver to do when you pass your opponent in a head-on. Basically, dive toward the ground, rudder toward your opponent, and turn toward them. Let off the throttle when you dive, and then get back on the throttle when you climb, and you should be able to reacquire your opponent in a more advantageous position. Now, you need to follow something that I like to call the three-quarters rule. Whenever you perform a low yo-yo or a break, which I'll show you later in the video, you need to make sure that you complete three quarters of a turn before you come back up and try to reacquire your opponent. And you see me do that in the gameplay right here. And I'll actually play this clip back so you can see that I complete three quarters of a turn before I climb back up and find my opponent again. And if that wasn't enough evidence to show you that this works, then I'll show you again. Now I'm putting on the brakes here because my opponent put on the brakes. I'm just speed matching him. And I'll replay the clip and you see that I'm ruddering toward him and using my elevation to create speed and maneuverability, complete three quarters of a turn and find him again. And this works because my opponent is using simple maneuvers. And you'll find that people that are beating you in dogfights, even the ones you think are really good, don't really know how to handle a negative to neutral dogfight. They know how to tail you and they know how to cut your maneuvers when they're tailing you and they have good aim. But I'd say 99 to 100% of pilots out there are just using simple maneuvers. Either that or speed controlling. And if you've been keeping up my videos up to this point, then you'll know that speed is important in a dogfight. And I'll cut to some more gameplay here and I'll show you again. The three quarters rule in effect. This guy uses a little vertical loop. I just run it toward him, do a little turn, complete three quarters of a loop, and then I find him again very easily. I mean, I could put together an hour worth of gameplay footage of me just cutting people using the three quarters rule. And this is something I actually discovered a long time ago. I actually did a lot of flying in Star Wars Battlefront and it worked the same way. And I don't really have a science based explanation for this. This is just something that I've observed. And it has something to do with plane physics, you know, velocity vectors, conservation of angular momentum, and what have you. But basically, all you need to know is that. If you try to cut your opponent too early, you'll undershoot them. If you wait too long to cut your opponent, you'll overshoot them. And both situations can be bad. And yet another gameplay clip of the three quarters rule in effect. And you see that I pretty much always try to keep my speed in a negative to neutral dogfight. But here, this guy goes into a Dylan. And this is a sign of a guy that really doesn't know what to do. And while I would never tell you to do it, people wouldn't do things like this if it didn't work for them. And sometimes a Dylan can be a get out of jail free card in a bad situation. So I'll leave it on you to pick the right move for the right situation. So just to recap, I've demonstrated the three quarters rule, which you should learn. And if you're one of those people that gets into turning battles with people for like five minutes at a time, then master this rule and it'll dramatically lower your time to kill on enemy pilots. And so far in the video, I've demonstrated what to do in a neutral dogfight where you pass someone in the head on. I've demonstrated the low yo-yo, which is a great way to utilize your elevation to create speed and maneuverability to cut a horizontal loop. Now I'm going to show you how to utilize elevation to your advantage in a negative dogfight. I'm going to show you how to brake properly. And no, that doesn't mean hit the brakes to slow down and turn tighter. 
And what a break is, is very simple. Basically, when you have a tail, you just turn to increase their angle off. And this is something that even very novice pilots are very familiar with. But it's also something that people don't do very effectively. When you're turning in a negative dogfight, you should always rudder towards your opponent. And the turn should be directed toward the ground. Basically, take advantage of your elevation to create speed, maneuverability. And you should still follow the three quarters rule. Complete three quarters of a turn and then use your throttle and pull up and switch toward your opponent. And I'm usually using sound cues to decide the correct direction to switch toward and then repeat. Break again, complete three quarters of a loop and then find your opponent and go in for the kill shot. And this is effective because A, you're keeping your speed and B, there's no immediate counter or cut move. If your opponent puts on the brakes, you'll get time on them immediately. So the only choice they have is to either follow you or just do a vertical loop, lose you momentarily and try to reacquire you. And I'll show you another gameplay clip of me breaking, but this time in the fighter plane. And here my opponent gets the advantage on me. And what makes or breaks this and whether you win or lose a dogfight is after you complete three quarters of a turn. You have to use sound cues, clues from the minimap, and your pilot's sixth sense to switch in the right direction. And that's always toward your opponent, not away. And you'll see here is when I start to get time on him and you see exactly how the move works. I'm keeping my speed and actually turning tighter in the horizontal direction than my opponent. And I think the information in the video will be very useful for a lot of pilots. And I hope you've been keeping up with the series because the episodes all kind of build on each other. But the most important thing for you guys is just to get out there, practice it, and then be able to make split second decisions to use the right move in the right situation. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.